Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Z James. This is the Z32 Workshop, and this beside me and behind me is my Nissan 300ZX convertible and my old engine over there that's in Saran Wrap. Um, basically wrapped up for getting sold to somebody who needs a block. Uh, this video is going to be about the oil pump. Uh, actually, I'm gonna tear this one apart. This one's no good. Uh, the old motor chewed up uh, rod bearing number five and sent particulates everywhere. So this is gonna be considered no good. So let's go into the scrap heap. But before I do that, I thought I'd open it up to show everyone what's inside this and how this thing operates and what's going on with it. Just uh, take a look at it and inspect it. So this should be another short video, maybe five minutes, maybe less. So let's get you guys turned around and look at the thing. As you can see here, get you down here. Here's the pump. Uh, obviously it came off the block. You saw that happen. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, oil pickup down to tube you gotta take off. You have um, covers and bolts. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, you have a lot of them here. Um, watch the other video. Uh, you can see it and don't forget the, it's part of the oil pan. So you've got that gasket going on. So you've got a lot of gaskets that need to be sealed up so this thing doesn't leak. And it's the front main seal because it runs off the crank on it. So hopefully I'm not going too fast for everybody. But here we go. Uh, the back plate of this is held on by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, screws. So we're gonna try pulling these up. Oh, you're gonna be a, all right. Let's try a different approach. Maybe I'll, uh... oh crap, hold on. Let's try this. Nope, you're too big. You're turning around. Nope. Well, you're all gonna be that way. Shit. All right, let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, you're. Maybe you don't come apart. Shit. This video is gonna be. Not with the trials and tribulations. Oh, you're not gonna come out, are you? Well. Boom. Uh, sorry about the fan, guys. Change of plans. Screws don't wanna come out. Using a reverse bit here and some WD-40. Uh, as lubricants. Sorry, as lubricants. Um, these are coming out pretty hot. Reverse screws, drill bit, has gotten these to come loose. It just gets everything hot and loosens everything up. I'm not even screwing with, uh, trying to do this So here, like this guy here. We're gonna press into it here, you can see it. See if I can get this out for you guys. And look, look at that. Walked it right on out. Ta-da! Well, granted, I'm not doing this to keep this stuff. I'm doing this as an autopsy on what's going on here. So let's try this guy next. There we go, look at that. And right on out. Do that There we go. Easy peasy lemon breezy.
All right, let's try the next one. We've got three left. This one, this one, and there's one down there. And then we should be able to get the back of this thing off. There we go. Oh, wasn't much of that one left. As you can see, we were just starting in the, the heat and the pressure just comes off. All right, two more to go. There we go. Making a spin. Hey, there you go. Okay. All right, camera back up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, let's take a look downtown here. You seeing this halfway recently? I have to rotate the camera. Oh, here. Do this. Okay. So I had to reverse drill all these screws out just to get this open. Here's the last one. Um, I, I'll time warp that last stuff. This turned into a pain in a butt. But I mean, this is already shot, so I was gonna wreck it anyway. Um, so any of the metal shavings you're seeing on the outside right now is only from that. Now let's remove the cover off and take a look at the inside. See what's going on. Is there anything shiny on the oil pump side? Boy, I'm not really. And eh, maybe, maybe some of the stuff I've gotten, not so much. As you can see, how the gear works by squeezing stuff up when you pull the main gear out. You know, this has got the flat spot that runs off the crank. So this is how that works. You know, it's in here. Oh, hang on, make sure I get this in right. Oh, you sucker. So it's centered up top. If I'm looking at this right. So it centers here. When she rotates, she squeezes. See how this passages open up? And then that creates your pressure. So it's coming in here, sucking up, coming in this guy, gets squeezed and pushed out the other side. So that's part of it. So this is the main gear coming out. This should be a, yep. That's the outside uh, portion of the gear. And then let's look at the rest of the passages here. Uh, the stuff out here out in the channels, that is uh, the stuff from other stuff. This guy here is, the um, front main seal, so that's nothing. There is a spring in the bottom of this guy. 
24 millimeter. And this should have a spring in it. There's a washer, it's 24 millimeter, and there's the spring. And, I'm oh, sorry, double spring. The reason I am going this far in disassembly is the simple fact that this is shot and this is when you take one apart, so it's one in. See how it looks. And I think there's a ball bearing in there. Hang on. If I'm over that. Not mistaken. Nope. That should do it. Oh no, there's a piston. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm back over here. Sorry guys, I know this is uh, all over the place, but hopefully you can see this. Um, this has got the plunger in here that I knew didn't want to come out. Come on. There it is. So you have this double spring here that holds pressure, if I'm saying that right. That's inside that piece right there. And that's that. So that's a VG30DE or DE, well, DE, not DETT. DETTs. Twin turbos have a different, uh, the gear setup here is different, as in it's, it's tighter, it's more tight. And then, there you go, yep. See how this, these guys, when you rotate it, it does the whole thing. It keeps one and rotates in. See how it's doing that. And that's how it creates your pressure. This helps with the pressure. And then that's where it's at. So gears, spring, spring, washer, and screws. That being said, um, you can modify these. I don't know if you'd want to do what I did and had to drill them out. That was an absolute pain. But they were just cross-threading. My cross-threading. The heads were stripping. So reverse drill bit did the trick there on that and just take some time. Then you'd want to parts clean the crap out of this if you did anything else like that, if you wanted to redo it. Um, I don't trust this. Not with much metal that went through the system. So these are shot at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, let me turn you around for this video. I mean, this might be a good shot right there of all the fun stuff. But yeah, that should do it for this video, guys. I know, um, like I keep promising, but it's, I've got a lot of videos in the can right now that I gotta get out before you start seeing the stealth material and everything else. And the next up one video, I'll forewarn you, is gonna be on an uh, aerodynamic control valve system that you can take apart and clean. That's the next video. That should help anybody who needs to be able to clean one of their air on control valves because these things are silly expensive new and used ones are expensive as well. So uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'm pretty responsive. Um, other than that, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And I hope this video, like all the other ones I've done, are helping you with your project endeavors and what you got going on. So take care, guys. Bye. See you in the next video.